IGN told me this game was racist. Why don't you back it up with a source? All of this doesn't account for Resident Evil 5's most notorious problem. Racism. You know, truth be told, I'm not a very big fan of the black people. Now I'm playing it purely for research purposes and not because I endorse racism. The quick rundown is Slim Shady Down wants to turn shoot. everyone gay, just like his daughter in an act of complete global saturation. So we go to the most inclusive continent, Africa. We're in Africa? Africa. Our boy Chad enters nigger with his side hole, Shaniqua. And immediately, there is a racism. Africans would never be big meanies to each other. Chad observes the finer Nigerian delicacies and communes Chad. with the locals who give us the African drip. After noticing they have a skybird, Chad slays it, bringing the scorn of a thousand brothers. But luckily for Chad, he has his big iron. As he continues on his warpath, he encounters the natives partaking in an old African tradition, raping a white woman. We kill the woman for being a victim. You're a victim! A black monster attacks. Disgusting black creatures. So we incinerate it. I am Adolf Hitler, command of the Third Reich. Little known fact, also dope by the mic. I'm starting to get the racism claim. Shaniqua wants to visit her relatives, so we encounter the tribes of Enlo. Oh this is a deeply disturbing depiction of Africans. They would never dress like this. In this area, we find a big old boomstick. I'm just a nigga with a rocket launcher. And figure out a shield does not protect against bullets. <laughs> now, if this part of the video doesn't seem as all over the place and more centered in this one area, it's because this area fucks. From Ooga Booga men to riding the waves to croc wrangling, it slaps. It slapped so hard, Shaniqua turned into an emo from the trauma. Speaking of trauma, it's time to discuss the enemies in the game. You have the nigger, niggers, bugs, and dogs. And you don't seem to understand. What did they mean by this? I would never accuse Capcom of equating black people to dogs and bugs, but they fucked up Dragon's Dogma 2, so I absolutely would. Chad and his emotionally unstable woman, I know I said woman twice, proceed to rob graves and also fuck this level, I'm not replaying it for the video. On jaw, if I ever have to replay this level, I will come to your house and put you in the iron lung. Here's a little pro gamer tip for you very special boys that have made it this far in the video. This boss is cancer. You buy a rocket and you shoot it once and it dies. The African culture is rubbing off on our Romeo and Nigiette as they proceed to try and rape a white woman. Oh wow, you gave the black guys guns. What's next? A funny hat and sick. In tune with the horrific bigotry, the final boss is a white man. Holy shit, he's turning black. So the journey of Chad and Nigaretta, or whatever the fuck I called her, <laughs> has come to a close. But one quest ending queefs another's beginning. Single piece of paper that says nigger faggot. As I embark on the quest of figuring out how the fuck you turn on unlimited ammo. You see, after beating the game, the next time you play, you can tick this option which does fuck and all. What you have to do is fully upgrade the weapon of choice, then navigate to this menu, buy this unlimited ammo option for the given gun, then go into this menu and this one, and select the gun, then go to the unlimited ammo option and select yeah. But the plot, racism, and retarded infinite ammo system aside, the gameplay? Shoot this guy in the knee. Punch him in the face. Shoot this guy in the face. He went to Parasite. Decide to fuck that shit and start shooting them in the body. You get the thing. The bosses? They all fucking suck. 
So it's literally Dark Souls. Is it a good Resident Evil? Fuck no. Bruh. Is it a good game? By current year standards? Absolutely. <laughs> I came for the racism, I came for Sheva, and I came for the freedom sticks. Seven minutes out of seven minutes. If you disagree, you can go punch boulders. I'm gonna go back to watching Aunt He-Mei now.